nothing. Mm. Then it's nothing, said the rapscallion, grinning. Rapscallion, don't be fresh with an 800-year-old man, snapped the old man, or I'll do you such a trick. Please do, said the rapscallion, grinning. So the old man turned him upside down. Uh, well, I decided to read today because as a reading coach, I'm a great fan of reading, and I love to read to children. And since I don't have my own classroom, I don't get a lot of opportunities to read to kids. I chose a couple of Halloween stories, The Vanishing Pumpkin, and There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Bat, um, um, two of the favorites. There Was favorites an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Bat um, is about a lady who swallows a bat, and then she has to swallow um, a ghost and a cat and bones and stuff to try to get rid of the bat that and she swallowed. And at the end, she yells trick-or-treat, and she burps up all of the characters. Because you learned about new stuff. And you'll know what to do when you grow up if you learn. Do your teachers talk to you a lot about reading? Yeah. What did you, uh, did you like the story that you read today? That one that was called It's Not My Fault? Did you like that story? Yeah. What did you like about it? He did lots of stuff that was bad and it was funny. Well, I stayed up too late last night to watch my favorite movie on TV. I don't know what happened, but my alarm clock, it didn't work this morning, and I overslept. That's because you That's a lie. You were sleeping. Well, look what it was using to turn the alarm clock off with. A hammer. A hammer. Would that work? I think no. reading is one of the no. most important things that we do for children because you need reading in math, you need reading in science and social studies, you need reading to get a job. And so I think today really stresses um, how important reading is and not just reading yourself but listening to good stories and hearing different people read and